I'm Amy from Digital Doll Designs. I had a viewer comment and say that she likes to purchase thrift store wool garments and wanted to know if there's a way to lighten the commercial black to a more primitive gray color. So here I have a variety of wool fabrics that are all pieces of garments that I thrifted. And so I'm going to try to lighten the color using some RIT color remover. I'm not going to try to remove all the color. I'm just going to try to get it just a little bit lighter. The instructions for the color remover are on the inside of the box. It does say that it is good for use on wool. So I'm going to use the stovetop method. And I am going to use a stock pot that I only use for dyeing things. It's a stainless steel stock pot. It says for preparation to pre-wash to remove any finishes. And I know that this fabric has been washed. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it wet and I'm going to bring my water to a boil. Now this wool has already been felted and it is reclaimed from wool garments. If you're interested in learning more about how to deconstruct wool garments to use the wool for wool applique or rug hooking, I do have a video about that. I'll put a link in the description below. The water is just about to start simmering and that's what temperature it says and the directions to use. So I've got the package here and it says to pour it in just above the water level. And that's to keep you from breathing any of it in. And then to stir it to dissolve. The spoon that I use is a stainless steel spoon and I only use it for dyeing things. I have the fabric here that I had gotten damp and I'm going to make sure it's unfolded and put it in the pot. already see the water is turning color. It says to stir consistently. It doesn't say constantly. already is definitely a lot less black than it was. I'm going to go ahead and take this piece out. It's a nice gray already. Now, if you wanted to completely remove the color, you could keep cooking. I just want to have a marbled look that would be nice for rug cooking.
one is turning a little bit of a maroon color, so I'm going to let that go a little bit longer, see what happens to that. That one is getting even more red. So there must be a difference in the way it was dyed. That's why I tried several different garments. I am doing this with the windows in the kitchen open. It does have a very strong smell. It's been about 17 minutes and it doesn't really seem to be removing the color any more than that. So I'm going to take this out and then I'm going to work on rinsing everything. Then I'm going to rinse it. Just to start with a warm water and then gradually reduce to a cool water and rinse it until the water runs clear. These are the wools after they've dried. This is a sample of the black just so you can have a comparison. And like I said before, these all felt a little bit different. They came from different garments. You can definitely tell that the dye was removed differently in each of them. This one has a bit of a khaki look to it and some gray. This one gray is almost got a blue color to it and then a really light tan this one also is a bluish gray these if these colors didn't work for you they're light enough that you could do an, a dye over the top of them and this is the one that was maroon colored and it is very stiff and I'm wondering if it had a little bit of something in it besides just wool it's not a bad color it's probably usable I might try to wash it and see if the stiffness will come out. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.